back to you. Me? So you gave yourself a rating of 10. Mm -hmm. So do you consider yourself the most attractive girl at the table? I mean, in I'm like myself. I don't. Everybody's beautiful in their own unique way. Well, no, that's no, no. messed up to say. But you're the only I love girl. Myself and I. You're the only girl who said you were a ten. So are you? No, I mean. If, but but you you have you gave yourself the highest rating at the table. Do you think you're the most beautiful girl at the table? No, I think they're all beautiful in different ways than me. Like I have black hair. Like you got the beautiful red hair. You got that. There's everybody just looks very different. Oh, everybody so just looks very they're, different. They're on your level. Then. I think they're all, they're, I think they rated themselves very low compared to what they should be. None of them are more attractive than you, though. No, I think that they're more attractive in different ways. More attractive in different ways? Yeah, like like we got a blonde, we got like, <laughs> we got everybody different, you know? No, well, they, they all look good. It's just that we all are different people, and beauty is subjective. So me saying, I, I get like lots of hate. I get told I look ugly all the time, but I'm so used to it. I've been doing social media since I was 14. Okay. Like, I'm very used to it, and I understand. Wait, you get told you're ugly all the time? Yes. And I get called fat. I get called ugly. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm not mad. I don't listen to it. Mm -hmm. I don't really care if people want to hate on but the way so, I So, the 10 rating, let me ask you a question. If you were to be rated by, say, a group of 1,000 men, what do you think the average rating would be for you? So I think that I have some features that are considered conventionally attractive and some features that are not. Like I'm more hourglass, but then obviously some men prefer like thinner women. Some men don't like, I have a big nose. I have mm -hmm. a very big Polish nose. Mm -hmm. And like some people don't like that. Like that's, a, that's something I get hate on a lot. And mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not gonna, I just, it, it's all subjective. I think probably Is they it? would say yes. I, but I, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like I get hit on a lot. I feel like I would get rated okay. Like an eight maybe. Okay. But I think that many... Why I, do you think there's a difference between what you think... So you think you're a 10, but yes. the average of what a 1,000 men would rate you as an 8. Why do you think there's a difference there? Because not everybody likes the same thing. Right, but this like, would be the average. So in this cohort of a 1,000 men, there could be some men that rate yeah. you a 10. And some people are like, oh, I only date blondes, so you're a 2. Like, everybody likes different things. Does that really exist? Yes. I, only, I mean, it's subjective. Well, hold on. But do you think he would prefer to date a woman who's facially beautiful but mm -hmm. is a brunette versus date? The attractive one, the brunette one. Mm -hmm. Well, then it's, I mean, based on this, it's clear to me that being blonde is not enough to shift the needle. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I'm saying, like, I mean... It's not real. Like, it's not like we're all ranked. Mm -hmm. There's no, like, objective number that all of us are. It's all subjective. I, listen, I like really ugly men. Like, <laughs> I love an ugly man with a big, messed up nose. I love big nose. Yes, messes. a big, messed up nose. And all my friends are like, ew, why are you doing that ugly man? I'm like, well, he's a 10 to me. Like, it's all, there's no objective Well, hold number. on. But you said he's ugly. Yes, but, so, but like, I like mm, ugly men. No, That's but a 10. How are you able to come to the determination he's Ugly. Because people want to call him ugly. People like uh, all of the boys I've dated ever. People are like, "Oh, why would you date him?" He but you get a lot it. of negative comments as well telling you you're ugly. So why aren't you ugly then? I'm ugly to some people. Mm. But I'm you call another man ugly because other people telling he's ugly, and you say I mean, a listen, lot of people are calling me ugly. So why aren't you then like a five or a six instead of a ten? Uh, what are, are ugly qualities to you as compared to attractive qualities? Like when you date an ugly man, what is ugly about him that's like undesirable, but you get over that? It's not undesirable. It's just that I, when I think of the word ugly, I think of, because it's all subjective. For example, I have a big hump nose. Some people don't like that, but I figure that makes a man a ten to me. I like a big nose. And so like, it's all just like, I'm not going to why beauty is subjective and a lot of the ideas of where we get beauty like the ideas of beauty are like at least we're in america it's like american standards you know what i mean yeah like the blue it's eyes true. the blonde hair the standards are made i don't think because that's a lot of group of people even, find the same thing attractive right mm -mm. standards same, are being made speaking, because a lot of people find the holder. same person no, attractive that's not true, the same features right in di different country you're right yeah. in different country the di beauty standard can be so drastically mm -hmm. different you can rate someone a one and in China, it would be a 10. Seriously. Yeah. So, right. no, that's why I said I'm a European, European too. too. And like, and a, Wait, yeah, hold on. Same. You're saying like yeah. a woman who's a 10 in China is going to be a 1 in the U.S.? I mean, that could happen, yes. Even and though, wait, the hold reverse. on. You aren't aware of the phenomenon that white men in Western countries tend to lean towards being white. White men actually tend to assess Asian women as very attractive. Mm -hmm. 
They do. Yeah. Very, have, well, that's very. true. But what I'm saying is that there exists, like the beauty standards are different. A lot of women are really popular here in America. You guys treat as actresses in, in our country. When we were growing up, we we're like, what? We would never like even pick her out of the street. That's our perception. So when I come to US, I realize, oh my God, like the big ass is in. Like in China, if you're a big ass, you get lipo. Like it will be <laughs> like a stick. The skinnier, it's like this little, like chopsticks. So it's like so different, drastically different. And know? it changes by decades too. If you look at the portrait of the Ming Dynasty, like women are beautiful, like very curvy and they have like no chin because it was like very <laughs> wealthy looking you know that's beauty and it's different because different they were natural mm -hmm. back then now we go to the plastic surgery because no, we it's are because insecure. the standards are different now it changes yeah. so much everything changes like that. and like huh. i mean i All think right. it's kind of um a little bit disrespectful to call me delusional because i'm addressing yeah, the fact that delusional. most men not everybody thinks i'm a 10 because listen i think i'm a 10 and you asked me what i thought you didn't ask me what everybody else thinks and so you're not going to change my opinion mm. of myself by being disrespectful to me. And well, I don't think it's disrespectful if you're you actually delusional. You literally is a tent to a lot of Chinese men. Why? Because first of all, your nose is really tall. You know, oh, in no, China, yeah, no, people like would yeah. put so much stuff to make their nose tall. And the reason I realized that is when I was younger, I watched a TV show. This, this actress has a really tall <laughs> nose. And then like... And then I was just thinking, yeah, sorry, I'm interrupting. If, I just think if, it's, if, you're a 10, and I think you're not Is a 10 delusional. a person who has no room for improvement? No, I do have room for improvement, but regardless, I still love myself at all times. That's great. I yeah. think that's Wait, awesome. did you say you were going to be better looking in 10 years' time? Yeah, but I mean, I can still... 20 years' time? I mean... Or I forgot your answer, just I, You didn't ask me the 20 years. I mean, maybe, probably I would look older, but like, I think I'll probably look good for like an old... But Literally. so, will you be better looking? No, probably at, not. No, thirty-eight as comp or sorry, you're twenty-one. 30, excuse me. Twenty. Will you 31. be better looking at thirty-one as compared to now at twenty-one? Uh, I think yes, because I pro I like for I'm starting my career out. I'm making more money. Mm -hmm. I'm able to get more cosmetic procedures in the next month. I get like my whole body done for the most part, not a BBL, but. So, well, uh, one thing though. So if you're going to be better looking in ten years' time, how can you be po how can you possibly be a ten now? If you'll be better looking, because 10 is the top you can go. You can't well, be, I mean, be better looking than a 10. I, I love myself right now, and I would be completely fine mm -hmm. like if I just stayed like this the rest of my life. I'm a very confident person, but it's like I can still... And also, society is always changing. So, like for example, if you look at the beauty trends of what women look like however many years ago, the little thin eyebrows, all that stuff, it's constantly changing. Like, mm. everything changes. And in 10 years, it could be completely different, and... I think I'll look good for that time. Well, I have another question then. You said you're going to be getting, how many plastic surgery procedures are you getting? I'm getting lipo in my arms, and I'm getting 360 lipo, which is your waist. And I already uh -huh. have a very small waist. What? Why? Because I want to, I feel like, you know, like when you play video games and you have like the character and the skin, you save up, you get the skin, you like mm. upgrade. I'm like, oh, like this will be like, I don't know. Oh, so you're getting lipo? But I do. You're getting lipo in the arms, yes. lipo in the belly. And I'm getting a small implant put in. And then, business hold on, investment. hold on, kind of, yes. mm. hold on. Well, in addition to my other question, again, how can you possibly be a 10 now if you need to get these cosmetic surgeries? No one said I needed them. It's just well, like Well, you're getting I, them regardless. Well, I am in the adult industry and mm -hmm. I probably would make more money. So, okay. So, but these procedures are going to improve your looks? Yes. So then... What number will you be after the procedures? I will always consider myself a 10. I always, I do what I want with the way I look. I don't care I don't what care. you say. I really just... don't care what you think about how yeah. I look. That's fine. I think the question gonna... isn't about your you self-perception. It's more about like the free market doesn't think you're a 10 is what he's saying. And well, I think that's no, wrong. I, I think you're not delusional. I think he's wrong because he's not thinking about other market. There's American market. There's Chinese she market. She lives there's in all the kinds United, of United, so United she's States. She's a public figure. OnlyFans is everywhere, right? You, you think, get traffic just to be everywhere. Clear, you think she's a 10 in Korea? She can be a 10 I'm to some woman. Yeah, you're beautiful. You're, yes. I'm fat yes. in Korea. I'm fat in a lot of Why Asian Why are we countries? just like debating her look? Yeah, yes, it's kind of like why, like you really, like you can, like listen, you can think I'm not a 10. I don't care. Listen, I'm, I don't care. And I really don't care what you think about, but I think it's so crazy to get on a podcast and yeah. debate how, how a woman looks. I don't, well, that, I'll tell you why it's important. Why? And let me also womp, just. Womp. Well, why I 20 minutes, like 15 minutes yeah, talking about no, this? No, no, so I, I, I think, uh, oh, let's... girls, I think you're feeling the wrong way. <laughs> to be, no, 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 not the wrong way you're saying or her answer or anything. Don't like. 
come after me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're saying, why are you viewing the point of view? Are you all right? Well, it's kind of like stressful. You're putting me on a podcast to debate how I look, and I've already said I no, don't no, no, care. No, 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 we, we talked about like Can you just stop talking? And it's a little bit stressful. Or what? And I'm not going to lie, don't you're kind of being a dickhead talking. right now. Like, can you? you give her some tissue paper, please? Yeah, I'm go good. get it then. <laughs> I'm Jesus good, Christ. but it's a little bit overwhelming and having a full table of people. You do social media and I do social media. I'm on live every day doing all my social media, but it's overwhelming. It is overwhelming and you're kind of being a dickhead because what did I do? Uh, well, I thought you didn't care. I mean, how... I don't care, but it's overwhelming. That's bad. It's not bad. And you just want to so keep talking about it over and over again for God knows how long. How much longer are you going to go on about it? I think I'm a 10 and this discussion is really pointless. Well, it does have a point, so... Uh, okay, What's well, I guess point? I'm ugly then. I, think I don't what care. what he was trying to say... Well, how about you let me make... Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I've been interrupted interrupted like three times in a row. I'm trying to make my point, but go ahead. Go ahead. Make your point. I'm going to speak. I just think that he was trying to say, if you think you're a 10 now, that if you're getting work done, then... Isn't there room for improvement? He's not saying that you're yeah, not I, beautiful. Like, you are beautiful. No, yeah. I already, I, I get the, the point he's trying to make, so but it's like, I don't know, like Kylie Jenner, all these beautiful women, they even say they're a ton and they can still go get stuff done. Kylie regrets it though. I don't, I'm oh, saying. So, so, okay, so you, you take issue with me using the word delusional, so let me just provide a definition. Characterized by or holding false beliefs or judgments about external reality that are held despite incontrovertible evidence to the contrary. So, or having false or unrealistic beliefs or opinions. So, I think the reality is there's a lot of women who come on the show. By the way, we ask this question I, every single I'm very show. I'm aware, and you always do this. No, don't always do it. I mean, yes. if a girl gives herself a seven, or even if she gives herself a seven, but she's not a seven, I don't really push it. But to say you're a 10 is to say that you are on par with the most beautiful women in the world. And I'm not sure I'm prepared to, like, I'm sure, I'm not really sure I'm prepared to accept that. Some men will think she's more beautiful than the I most beautiful what, person. Like I said, I, I like ugly men. men. I would rather. Yeah, I don't care some, what some men think. Who, well, it's not subjective like, because you've just made a cac- uh, categorization. So you said there's beautiful men and there's mid men. Why are you able to make a an objective determination about someone's physical appearance, but you can't do that to yourself? Um, she didn't make an objective I said judgment. I, it was subjective, right? Was you think subjective. someone is no. ugly, it's subjective. She said there's beautiful men and there's mid men. That's a categorization. Yeah, she categorized it in her mind. She thinks he's yeah. ugly. And someone thinks she's beautiful. It's in his mind. It's a by different but she's saying, standard. She's saying she likes to date those men yeah. who she's made a judgment and a yeah. determination on that they are less physically att- attractive by some sort of objective Conventional metric. Attract- that's not attractive. conventionally attractive. Right, you might be attracted to men, but for other reasons. Like maybe he's I got d- a good I personality. I broke men. I'm not in it for like, like literally, like I'm so not. It's just, it is about the personality. Mm-hmm. And it, I don't care. Like just because I say they're ugly doesn't, like maybe conventionally speaking, they're, they're considered yeah. ugly, but not to me. Okay, so. And I literally, it's so like, dude, like you're literally on a podcast debating a 21. How old are you, 21? I'm 21. You're debating, debating what, a 21. What, how is that relevant? Because it's your grown-ass man. What, and you asked and to be on the show. Be, yeah, the, you this asked is be, a show what? about dating relationships and how and, women and men perceive each other yes, and themselves. How long have we been talking about this? One time. But the podcast really is six big, hours or whatever. Well, I'm over it. I'm done. I think it's just a matter of opinion. It is yeah, a matter of opinion. Saying, That's what I've said the whole time. And you're going to say and I'm I don't think you should let it get to really, yeah, totally. No, 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 no. no. Hold you're on. literally pretty for a living. Yeah. Right? That's right? That's good well, yeah, but, that, but you, you might not be girl. a 10 for a living, but you're doing great. You shouldn't be emotional. You're doing all right. So, it's, I'm upset because I, I, listen, I'm an emotional I person and it's just a little bit overwhelming. I think oh, well, beauty fine. is in the eyes of the beholder, obviously. I've got But I think if you are making categories about men, what you are saying, you are right. You have to be honest to yourself as a woman. Bro, it's crazy to me because, like, women are super picky, and you guys literally have laundry lists of, like, what a guy has to meet physically, personality-wise. You you guys have lists of yeah. what a guy has to bring to the table, yeah. but when guys start talking about, like, okay, here's what we want, and whenever it gets into the realm of physical appearance, which, by the way, women care way fucking more than men about this shit. I guarantee you, you go on a fucking dating app, y'all are swiping no on 90% of the dudes without reading their fucking profile mm-hmm. in 
instantly you look at the first photo, mid, mid, don't That's like true. it. I y'all are way pickier. Y'all are way pickier about looks yeah. than men. So I'm not going to take this like, oh, this is like misogyny men or like, well, oh, why do they care so much about looks? Y'all care way fucking more about it. It's okay that you I, care I, about I looks. Y'all okay care, care way fucking not more about looks. And so I'll tell you exactly why I push back on what I view as women having an overinflated sense of their own physical attractiveness. So let me start by asking a question. Do you think that there are men out there who think that they're more attractive than they actually are? Yes. Do you think there are men who think they're hot shit, yes. but they're not? Yes. 90%. So yeah. that's you. But but no. so you ob I'm sure really you care. object to men who think they're who's super fucking cocky mm -hmm. and who think they're hot shit and think they can you know get all these girls but they don't you, right yeah but who somebody cares? thinks you're that much and more so yes exactly it's you know who they I'm not them? saying there look there's gonna be guys that are attracted to you that's yeah, not what yeah. I'm trying to argue here but like if you can say that there are men out there who think that they're hot shit but they ain't nothing but guess what I'm not mad about them saying that you like. I but you like might say they're delusional. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. If they, it depends. Because a lot of them, maybe I don't like them, but there are other women that do. There's a reason they're like that. Mm, actually, I would say that. Listen, I'm in college. Do you know how many boys I have to deal with? Uh, actually, I got to push back on this specific thing, too. I would argue that in terms of what men find attractive, men have a much wider margin mm -hmm. of women they'll find attractive. Like, I would say most men find most women attractive. Mm -hmm. Most women definitely don't find That's most true. men attractive. That's true. And this is why you have average women who think they deserve the fucking world. They're mid-chicks who deserve, like, a top-tier dude. Mm -hmm. You don't. And what's wrong average with that? women deserve average men. Average men deserve average women. Guess what? And what's going on in the dating marketplace, especially on dating apps, you got average women who can get sexual access mm -hmm. to really attractive men. They'll never get commitment, but they'll spend their 20s fucking the attractive dudes, never getting commitment, getting passed around by fuckboys. And then when it's time to settle, when they're in their late 20s or 30s, they're going to feel entitled to a certain caliber of guy that'll never give them commitment. They're going to settle for a guy who's actually in their league that guy's not going to get good treatment it's going to be terrible for the relationship but a lot of women because it's a global sexual marketplace you can hop on instagram you can hop on a dating app issue. that's not you, like men are just more issue. sexual they don't right, but, actually like but here's the thing so so here's the thing so for a guy our league our league is the women that we can sleep with mm -hmm. y'all league is the men you can get commitment and marriage from mm -hmm. because as a girl you can sleep with a guy it's not immediately clear if if you can sleep with a guy, you can always get him in, or with near certainty, get him into a relationship. Mm -hmm. But as a guy, if I can sleep with a girl, there's a very strong chance I can get her into a relationship. That's so yeah. false. What is the... That's, that's so false. false. What's the Basically, that's the 80, 90 percent of the per men I date, I don't want a relationship with them. Well, that's hold on. Thing. When women are nice to men, men feel entitled to sex. When men are nice to women, women feel entitled to commitment. No. No, I don't feel entitled. I don't want to commit to most of the men I see. They're, That's an L that's for you. Yeah, no, because say. they're really losers. They so are you the fuck L. losers? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I fucked losers. That's an L. That's broke. Yeah. That's an L, bro. Because I need to get off, man. Sometimes you I need You said you don't even get off. What? You said you don't. I, you, you said have your vibrator. I always bring my tiny vibrator with me. It's like this big, okay? If he can't get me off, I have my ways. Sometimes you need a warm body. You need a good cuddle. What's wrong with that? Cuddle? Oh, well, Do you know cuddling. how many guys that are my cuddle buddies? But it's not because sex. They want then you're not having sex with them. You know, what, you know what condoms? But what is your what? You know ideal condoms man? where you have sex? Wait, what? Condoms. Then you think that stops an STD? Oh, so you're saying I shouldn't have sex when I want to have sex with someone. Because I want to scratch an itch. Like, <laughs> that's so, like, well, you, Yeah, it's called sexual discipline. Jeez. What do you have sexual discipline? You've never, ever had sex with a girl without a condom? Or, like, you're just, Wait, like, okay, we're talking about two totally different okay. things here. So... I just don't know, understand why you're, like, thinking what I did have is unreasonable. It's, like, very you're apparent an adult, to you me. You can do what you want. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know what's I'm well, I'm, I'm actually against like a I'm promiscuity. Against culture. I'm, I'm not promiscuous. I just want to cuddle Bruh. someone. Sometimes I want to fuck someone. Yeah, it's you're like different. promiscuous. No, you're you are how, promiscuous. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But how okay. is your ideal man? What does he look like? Or is he just your ideal man like a sex doll or something? Because I no, don't understand. No, it's like at different stage of my life, I have different ideals. For example, with my five-year relationship, I was with like, the same guy for five right, years. So if you are married. I go married, through a slut phase where that's when I actually did one night stand and I regretted it. And then there are times where I'm like seriously so want to date someone. It's like people change throughout their years and you they want growing. different things. So I don't understand what's like. So, so if, if you, if you regretted married, it, then yeah. would you say that like if you could go back, would you still have one night stand? I would have because at that time, if I didn't have one night stand, I wouldn't have known okay. I regret it. You know okay. what I mean? Here, we'll get to that in a sec. To wrap up on the whole 10 thing, here's what I see going on in the dating marketplace. I've spoken to over a thousand women on the show. It's not all women, but I don't know if it's a majority or uh, who knows the exact number. But there's enough women who are totally average, totally average. They don't want to date average men. That's a problem. For average it's men, a, not for them. No, well, it's also a problem for the women because then they end up getting into relation, well, relationships with men who will never commit to them. I will believe like it if a woman said it. That you've read yeah, where, where did you read that? What's the source? I mean, or did women say dating, that to you? The dating apps are proof enough. So Where's if the you stats have, there? Hold what on. dating app? Listen, I'm Tinder, all Tinder all these all, all these dating apps uh -huh. re have released, not all of the dating apps, but they've released data on this. Uh -huh. Women swipe no on 90% yeah, of men. That's true. Chart 166. Yeah, I mean, this is a thing. But why do you think women... I think uh, what he's meaning. Oh, okay. But why do you think women so, are unhappy? Hold on. Maybe women are let me, happier let me this look way. At this. Because of their choices. Thank you for because getting this, Because they have Nick. a different hold view. On, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on, hold on. Stop. They have a different view. Okay, yeah. the experiences of men and women on Tinder. Women match with 36% of those they like, while men match with less than 2%. Uh, like and match, like but no match, yeah. pass. So women are super yeah. picky mm -hmm. when it comes to looks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, su and just in general, they're super picky. Mm -hmm. And so if women are overlooking men mm -hmm. that are actually in their league mm -hmm. because they think, for example, if you think that you're a 10, certainly you must be deserving of a man who's a 10. And so what is that going to look a like? A man well, who she thinks is a 10, who she thinks is a 10. That's important to add. Sure. She thinks is a 10, not... In the world, you most people all these think women, they want to date men are more attractive. Yeah. I already said I like the men that are not considered attractive. I like the little shorties. Yeah. That I what she thinks is a ten. Maybe she likes broke guys. Maybe that's a no, ten. I, I Maybe mean, someone likes homeless people. <laughs> 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 I don't really care. I don't really care. Not Just throws you, you under the bus someone. immediately. Like, I'm not saying you. That so it's like in me. her eyes. So yeah, if she thinks a ten, she will find someone who she thinks is a ten. That doesn't mean you will yes. think he's a ten. Well, I think. Look again. The big issue here is that I see going on in the dating marketplace yeah. is average women don't want to date average men true and then but here's the problem if i'm an average guy yeah and i want to get sexual access to yeah. above average women mm -hmm. i can't exactly and that sounds like your uh, problem no 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 no. hold on i don't have i don't object to that yeah. here's the problem uh-huh average women yeah can get sexual access to above average men yeah that's nice Here's the thing. This and, is and what who's letting them in? Who's letting them have proportion. that access? Well, hold on. Who's more to blame? Hello? Like two percent of men or the fifty percent of women who are engaged in the hookup culture? Women are more, more selective. Right. But yeah. so I'll grant to you that there are hyper promiscuous, super attractive men that sleep with a fuck ton of women. Mm -hmm. But it's not clear to me if a if it's a small proportion of men versus like let's say. Here's the thing. Also, I would say that almost. Almost any woman, if she wants to, has access to hookup culture. Mm -hmm. Can't say the same thing about men. That's true. Most men don't have access to hookup culture because they aren't attractive enough to be able to be sleeping with that many women consistently. Whereas a, an average girl, if she wanted to, could fuck three new guys a day. And what's the problem here? The oh, problem is the, the, pro point. the problem is you have average women mm -hmm. chasing after men that are out of their league. Yes. And then they think they're entitled to those men. They'll never get commitment. And then when they finally have to settle down in their late 20s or 30s, they're going to like have all these experiences with all these men who are more attractive than their partner. And they're going to think like, I'm settling. But actually, they're not. 
They're there, actually not. I have two points to that. One, why do you think she? They are unhappy. Maybe they settle and they're happy and they live their twenties, you know, dating hot men, and then in their thirties they can settle with the average men, and that's great for them. Cheer for them. So what's wrong with that? I don't see a problem. So there's this thing. So can I ask you a question? I want you to think right now. The most attractive guy mm -hmm. you've ever dated and been with. Can you oh, think of Oh, there's a few. Okay. It depends. Like, do you want the European style or like more scrawny doctor smart style? It depends. But so what? Can you think of one man in particular who was like leaps and bounds above them all? No, I can't because everybody have their pros and cons. That's why you cannot objectively okay. rate a person. Your it's subjective not. opinion about the most Because I can't. Man. Because when you're with them, it's a different feeling. Sometimes it make you feel calm. Sometimes it make you feel passion. How can you decide that? That's crazy. Have you ever been in love before? I've been in love every time I, 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 I date someone. I believe you. Yeah. If there's no more question, I really <laughs> need to pee. Question, yeah. I'm shocked. Okay, go pee. I'm go. so shocked. Giovanni Jade, you donated $200. Brian's telling the truth. When I was a DJ and I slept with tons of women that were mid, because I was bored, drunk, etc., but only wiped the nines. Shameful behavior, but it applies to all DJ men. Yo, Giovanni, appreciate it, man. Look, I mean, there's a lot of guys that will... I think one of the big things, and I've brought this up in previous shows, is that when it comes to, like, more casual flings or whatever, a guy will sleep down, whereas, like, if a girl's inclined to have, like, a one-night stand or casual thing, she'll typically prioritize, like, going for the most attractive guy she can get, whereas when a man's trying to get, like, casual sex, he'll lower his standards for looks. So when it comes to a guy will sleep with a girl that just on looks alone, he will never be in a relationship with her. However, I would argue typically that for a woman even to have like casual sex, one night stand or whatever, in order to have a one night stand or casual sex with a guy, he typically has to be at least attractive enough for her to be in a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. It's also dangerous if you're a woman and you don't understand that men will lower their standards and be disgusting and sleep with people who are less than, because then you feel special. Because this guy who you perceive is so hot is choosing you, and you're like, oh, that's crazy. But you're you're not special. He's he's using you. Because yeah, exactly. When and you're that's getting going older, to... you want to settle down. You have this vision in your head, like, oh my god, I deserve a man that looks like that. Well, the idea is that he makes you feel so special, happen. eventually yeah. you're going to meet a normal guy who is in your league. He will not make you feel yes, special. That. And now you're like, yeah. what am I missing here? Because you have that version in your head that you deserve some kind of... Yeah, exactly. You're doing yourself a disservice. I, I feel like it's a lot... Those numbers are the way they are because men are just desirous in general more so than women are. Their sexual yes. desire is up here. Ours yeah. is like right here. Exactly. And so that's why I feel, personally, I think that the numbers are that way. So. They're just going to settle for whatever they can do the deed with. So. Well, yeah, women sleep with who they want and men sleep